David Chill, um, the self-styled hot foil guru. So taking some questions that you asked through YouTube earlier this year, people wanted to know what was the benefit or why should you buy a second-hand hot foil machine? So I'm happy to answer that question and there are lots of different facets to a second-hand hot foil machine. I'll address the most obvious one first. Of course, it's going to be less expensive than a brand new machine. And I know the question you're going to say, well, is it going to be inferior quality? Certainly the British made machines, and out of these I'm talking about the JT Marshalls, the Magmarks, the Blockmasters, Polydiams, and Metallic Elephant machines, they are incredibly well built. These British machines are probably over-engineered. All right, they look ancient, they don't necessarily look pretty, but they are so functional and they are so fit for purpose and so well built, you can't really go wrong. Will pieces on it break down? It's an electronic, it's a mechanical machine. The answer is yes, of course there is a likelihood that there'll be a part on the machine that will, will break down. But if you look after the machine, there is nothing on it that will break. You can drop it on the floor and it will still be in one piece, although I do not recommend you do that. The most obvious thing, there is a drive belt on the machine. It's made of rubber. It will last about 10 or 15 years. On all the machines that we have, we tend to replace them just as a matter of standard. But the things like the heating elements, I've had, I must have sold over the last 20 years, two or 300 machines. I can only, I think, remember one or two of the heating elements out of hundreds of machines we've had that have probably broken down. And this was because the machine was left outside in a shed in damp conditions. They really are very good. Occasionally you might get one of the electronic or the temperature control boxes malfunction. Again, these can be easily replaced. But everything else really, unless you manhandle the machine, they should basically work perfectly. All right, again, over the years, they may get scuff marks. You may get some of the paintwork deteriorating. They may get a little bit of surface rust. This can be easily cleaned off, particularly on the Blockmaster and the Magmark to a point. They were made of a slightly milder steel, so it does tend to rust up a little bit more quickly. But of course, they're more affordable. So if you're looking now at a brand new machine, something like a Platten, at time of, of filming this um, at the beginning of 2024, you're probably looking at two and a half thousand pounds plus VAT, a decent flatbed machine, maybe three to three and a half to four thousand pounds plus VAT for a hand operated tabletop model. For example, we have in stock normally between 20 and 30 various machines ranging from a small print head of two and a half three inches by three to four inches going right up to the largest hand operated machines which will normally be nine by six inches you can't get much bigger to be hand operated anything over that size you really need some form of of hydraulic pressure but we sell quite a few machines and we sell them all over both the UK and into Europe. This year we've sold machines in Germany, Portugal, uh, one went over to the United States, another one to Australia, one to Malta and, and two to, to Kenya. I suppose people think there is a stigma when it comes to secondhand, pre-owned, refurbished, whatever you want to call it. There isn't really a stigma, it's, it's probably in your mind, you want everything new. And new machines, if they're coming out of China and they're small and they're tabletop, really be very careful. If people are wanting three, four, five hundred pounds for a brand new machine, how do I put this politely? They're probably going to be crap. What you need to do is don't buy them and save up a little bit more money. It will save you in the long run. If you can find a machine with a toggle action, this is where you have a mechanical pressure 
that you can close on your machine and provide extra pressure and a constant and even pressure, go for one of those style machines. One of the Platins or something like one of the Kobos, particularly the Kobo 338 model, which is the most popular one that we seem to sell. People quite like them because they have a retro look to them. Yes, the design is going to be 50, 60 years old. In fact, some of the machines you might find out there are 50 to 60 years old. In our studios here in the UK, in Bromsgrove, we're using machines constantly that are 30, 40 years plus in age. Doesn't mean they're no good, doesn't mean they're no better than the new ones. In fact, if anything, I prefer the older technology. I prefer the analog temperature control to the digital temperature control because there just seems like less to go wrong. If you're starting out, and a lot of people are, and they want to work from home, or they're gonna work from a garage, a basement, a shed, a small unit, often funds are quite tight. I understand that and I try and work with people because I know they're on a budget. In fact, with the cost of living crisis, we're all on a budget. So don't think because it's second hand and it costs less, it's going to be inferior. I don't think I've used, I'm trying to remember, um, a brand new machine for any jobs in the last five or six years. The next thing people are concerned about is will the machine hold its value? If it's a good quality machine, if it's well made, the answer is yes, it will hold its value. All right, you might not get the same amount of money you've paid for it, but I would say look after it, keep it well, keep it indoors, do not store them in sheds or garages over the winter and let the damp and cold get to them. Look after it and you'll probably get at least half your money back. I know there's auction sites out there um, I'm not going to mention them by name, but you know the ones that start with G or start with E or start with F. Is it worth buying from them? Yes, by all means. Just do your due diligence and be careful. We also have listings on some of these types of sites. And I'll be honest with you, our prices are a little bit more expensive. But we're running a business here. We've got overheads. I've got a couple of staff. We do take them in. We check the machines over. We refurbish them. And at time of going to press, 2024, any of our machines over a thousand pounds, we include free training. Now that training isn't just sit down with you for half an hour. We'll just go through the basics. We like to spend four to five hours and we'll go through with you how the machine works, how the mechanics work, a little bit about foils. We'll tell you how to print with a printing plate. We will unset the machine and set it up again. We'll get you to unset the machine and set it up and do a difficult setup. We'll show you how to use it as a sublimation foil printer. We'll show you how to die cut with the machine. Unfortunately, in the time given, most people can, can spend a day with us. We can't do typesetting, but we could do that maybe as an extra uh, add-on session and there might be a small extra charge for that. Those people who are rosette makers out there, we need a bit more time to go through that with you and, and we may have to look at a, a small extra charge. Or please look at our sister site, which is ribbonwriter.com, www ribbonwriter.com because we sell digital machines that can print onto ribbons so if you're doing rosette tails the digital way is how most people are going and is much faster if you're still doing the rosette centers unfortunately there aren't very many ways that are inexpensive so in summary british machines they're well built they're superbly engineered there isn't really any stigma in getting a second hand machine they're built like Sherman tanks. If you want to dip your toe in the water without too much extra expense, then this is absolutely ideal. And they're far more affordable than any of the new machines. I'm happy to answer any questions. Please contact us through the hotfoiluk.com website or you'll find us at Versatility Imprint in Bromsgrove. Our telephone number 01527 871 500. 
and please, I want to talk to you and I can try and organize the right machine for the right job. Sometimes it'll be one of these platinum machines that I'm standing in front of. Sometimes it might be a flatbed machine. Sometimes you think you might need a larger machine, but you don't. I know people think I'm printing up to A5. I need a machine that prints at A5. You don't. You're never, you're rarely going to print on a full A5. You're going to print on half of that size. So you don't need the most expensive. And I'm not here to sell you the top of the range, most expensive machine. I just want to get you with the right machine for you and doing the right job. So that's David Chill, the self-styled hot foil guru. Thank you very much for watching and keep those questions coming in.